Hey guys, do you remember my Mario Master 1 1 trailer? Well, I remember working on the script. The thing is though, I kinda wanna make it more relevant to my channel now, so I'm gonna be remaking it. With that said, let's go over the things that I will make in this channel. Well, when my channel first came out, I made lots of playthroughs, such as Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Mario Galaxy 3D All-Stars, and Miitopia. So, I used to make these a lot, but recently, I've honestly been making less. So, honestly, I don't have an actual schedule for when these come out, although there are still some more games that I need to finish. Not to mention, if anyone remembers, my Origami King file got ruined, so I might have to reboot it instead. Do you guys know Nathaniel Bambi? Then you know the trigger in mind blowing. Do you guys know Gamer27? Then you know the Angers and Amazes. Do you know HS? Then you know the Fantastic and Frustrated. Do you know Crazy Boy? Then you know the Annoys and Lightens. Well, I have my own version called Upset and Great. This is honestly obvious, but the Upset covers negative aspects and Great covers positive aspects. Although most of these are for games, I did make ones on Gamer27 and Crazy Boy, and will eventually make ones on big YouTubers like Nico BBQ and Nathaniel Bandy. This is honestly obvious, but in my top 10s and rankings, I make, well, top 10s and rankings. An example of a top 10 is the top 10 best and worst Wii Party U minigames, and an example of a ranking is ranking every Mario Party 9 minigame. I'm gonna be honest, top 10s will come way faster, because they're way less, they're only 10, while the rankings are way more, and I mean... Do you want to know how long it took just to record ranking every Mario Party 9 minigame? Not working on the script, not trying to figure out which of the minigames are better than each other, not editing, not combining, etc. Only the recording took 8 to 12 hours just to record. That should give you an example of how long the rankings took. Although, honestly, the longest was the script, because combining 78 things on the list that I agreed with exactly took a while, so yeah. Like, for example, do I like Womp Stomp or bob King with Womp better, or something like that. But yeah, top turns take way less time to make though, so expect those way more than rankings. My M's are a yearly thing where I make a direct in other videos. But in M1, I only made directs. In M2, though, I actually want to make actual videos and also make a direct, but all the announcements are just going to be in one direct, so I can focus on other videos for the rest of this stuff. So yeah. Anyway, this is something that comes once a year, and lots of people get hyped for it. Speaking of something that comes once a year that people are hyped for... In my rewind, I, along with my friends, who apparently break into my house without my permission! Jeez, stop it! Just ask for permission, please! Anyway, for the first rewind, we talked about the most and least viewed videos, and for the second rewind, I talked about the best videos and fans according to my other fans. How they decided was I gave them a form asking who the best videos and fans were that I had in 2021. Honestly, I like the format of the 2021 rewind, so I think I'll use it from now on. So yeah, there will be one rewind every year, and I will try to aim it at December 25th and Christmas, which is the same day, but if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's December 25th. But yeah, now you know about my rewind. On YouTube Interacts, I interview with various YouTubers and ask them questions relating their YouTube journey. It can be relating to why they decided to do YouTube, their favorite and least favorite video they made, etc. So far, I interviewed Wushi and Gamer27, but eventually, I want to interview Crazy Boy and Agent S, etc. And I used to get one out every month, but now I'm focusing on other videos too, so now I can't give an actual schedule for the series right now. But honestly, I'm pretty sure I will make one at least every three months. For challenges, I do stuff like 3D World No Bricks, Super Mario All-Stars when I touch an enemy I go to the next game, and even stuff like texting someone but when I make a typo the video ends. I make these challenges whenever and honestly, I don't really have a schedule for this, but lots of people find this series to be one of the best on my channel, so I decided to include it. Also, if I'm being honest, 
Super Mario 3D World No Bricks is actually one of my favorite videos I ever made. Anyway, I don't have a schedule for this, I just make them whenever I feel like. But smaller ones, like, if I take less time than stuff, like, than normal challenges that are bigger, because for if I, I just have to record, but for stuff like, is it possible, I have to make an entire script. So yeah. But anyway, I don't really have a schedule for playthroughs. But it's up to you occasionally, I guess is what I can say. Since if more happen, they happen. But there will be at least some occasionally. Okay, if I'm being honest, seeing a schedule that's 100% accurate is kind of difficult because sometimes I upload once a week, sometimes more than once a week, and sometimes not at all that week. However, recently, I have been uploading once a week with occasional small videos. However, when specials happen, more videos come out, and that that week but overall you should expect at least one video a week except for a few weeks if i don't have time to upload but most weeks i can so expect one video a week except for a few weeks every year anyway though i hope you guys enjoyed my channel trailer i make and are looking forward to my future videos make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i hope to see you on my channel bye guys